Hi friends, welcome to the channel. Here you will find fascinating videos on a variety of topics. Subscribe and stay tuned. T. The history of its emergence and its various traditions. Where it came from and how quickly it became a famous and the most popular drink around the world. Legend says that the first tea was created thousands of years ago, when a Chinese sage went out into nature and settled on a mountaintop. He built himself a fire on which he placed a vessel of boiling water to cook his food. Suddenly a strong wind blew, sweeping away everything in its path. The leaves of the tea plant flew through the air and fell directly into his boiling bowl. He noticed that the water had turned green and took a sip of the drink, not knowing what he was drinking. He was delighted with the taste and decided to look for leaves he found growing nearby at the foot of the snowy mountains. The rainy and flu season is the perfect time to rediscover the second most common drink in the world after water. Behind the ancient beverage lies a rich world of flavors, traditions, and centuries of history that circle around coffee. As with wine, there is a vast knowledge on the subject, unavailable to the consumer who does not know that a cup of tea can be a real treat. The name tea is given to any beverage made from the tea leaf of Camellia sinensis. The plant grows in areas where the climate is hot and humid and rain falls throughout the year, which is why countries such as India, China, Taiwan, and Japan are its main producers. Tea leaves can come in many forms, from whole leaves to crushed leaves and powder, which is considered to be of lower quality. Traditional tea is produced by a method that involves several steps done by hand. Initially, tea leaves are harvested when only the top leaves of the plant are picked. Later steps vary depending on the type of tea and usually include drying and twisting the leaves. Tea prepared in the traditional way is usually sold coarse leafed rather than in bags and requires a teapot with a removable strainer or a disposable paper filter that is inserted into a cup. It also requires knowledge of three factors that vary depending on the type of tea proper water temperature, brewing time in the pitcher, and the number of tea leaves per sip. Suppliers of quality tea will give the exact details of the three for each tea. It is important to stick to the basics in order to fully enjoy the tea. Otherwise, the flavor will be missed, such as in a situation where the tea has been left in the cup for too long, resulting in a bitter taste. It is also recommended to brew tea in water that has undergone some filtration rather than tap water so as not to spoil its natural flavor. Most of the tea consumed in the world today is produced by the industrial crush, tier, curl method, known by the acronym CTC. In this method, tea leaves are crushed to a fine state so that they dissolve quickly and have a strong flavor. It is also the contents of most tea bags, an American invention used as an efficient way to deliver samples. Tea from the leaves of the tea plant must be separated from herbal infusions. A source of confusion is that there are types of tea, mostly green tea, to which spices and flavorings are added in addition to the brew. Herbal infusions may contain components such as Louise, chamomile, and others, but the tea leaf component is missing. A common mistake is to call them herbal teas instead of their exact name, herbal infusions. The easiest way to diagnose is to check on the package. If there is no brew in the composition, if it is a serious and reliable manufacturer, the word tea should not appear. History of tea tea was drunk in China as early as 2000 years before Christ, but exports did not begin until around the 10th century AD. It first arrived in Europe in 1606 and soon spread across the continent. England, which became the center of the tea trade, brought the news to the North American colonies. A high tariff imposed by the British government led in 1773 to the Boston Tea Party, a historic event when the citizens of Boston threw tea into the waters of the Persian Gulf, which was one of the triggers for the American War of Independence. In 1908, tea bags, which typically contain CTC tea, were invented in the United States. Tea powder in bags dissolves faster than whole leaves, requires fewer accessories, takes less time, and is cheaper for the user when convenience comes at the expense of quality. While tea consumption was considered a nuisance, its place has been taken by carbonated drinks, milkshakes, and coffee. Over the past two decades, a global trend encouraging green and ecological thinking, along with the rejection of processed foods, has led to a revival of traditional tea. 
The means of production have also been improved, and many ways of improving tea varieties have been identified. New blends have been launched and, in addition, the natural flavor of loose tea has been rediscovered. As part of the trend, many tea shops have opened across Europe where you can sit, drink different types, and purchase premium and exotic blends from around the world. Types of tea. The main variable in the method of production is the degree of oxidation, or fermentation, that the leaves have undergone. White tea is made from minimally processed leaves, hence its exquisite flavor. Green tea is made from unfermented leaves. Oolong tea has undergone partial fermentation, and its types differ in the degree of fermentation, where an oolong that has undergone weak fermentation is closer to green tea, and one that has undergone a high degree of fermentation is closer to black tea. Black tea is made from fully fermented leaves, and there are plenty of those here as well. For example, Masam tea, produced in India, is characterized by a strong dark flavor, while Darjeeling tea, grown at the foothills of the Himalayas at high altitude, is more refined and is known as the champagne among teas, also has subclasses within it. Within each category, classification is done according to the plant's genes, the budding period, which can be in spring, subtle flavor, or summer, more pronounced flavor, and the tea rating, which is usually only done for black teas from India and surrounding areas, in the form of letters denoting the quality of the leaves and the degree of leaf buds present. The more leaf buds, the better the quality of the tea. Flavored tea is basically one of the teas mentioned above to which various spices have been added. For example, jasmine flowers, which are added to green tea, or bergamot, citrus fruit oil, which is usually added to black tea and is known as Earl Grey. Different Tea Traditions The origin of tea and its traditions came from the East, but it soon took center stage in Western culture. Many ceremonies with different tools and beliefs were created in countries such as Russia and France and one Western country where the tea tradition is well-established is England. The first tea houses in England were luxuries and were meant for the clientele of the aristocracy. It is said that tea time was invented by the Duchess of Bedford, who was attacked by weakness every day around four o'clock. And to get through the difficult hour, she introduced the tea ceremony and added a little sweetness to it. Gradually, a complete menu for the tea ceremony was created divided into three parts, small sandwiches, scones, cakes, and cookies. From then until today, many English people, including members of the royal family, observe the tea party every day. The ceremony itself includes tea infusions in silver jugs, pouring spoons and vessels for milk and sugar, and porcelain cups. Its preparation involves preheating the body of the jug with boiling water, which is immediately poured out. Later, the tea is placed in a heated cauldron where, according to British tradition, the amount of tea to be brewed should be equivalent to the weight of a sixpence coin. The tea is brewed for three to seven minutes, during which time the aromatic element develops without becoming bitter. If sugar is added, it goes into the glass first, and then milk is poured into the glasses while it is cold so that it does not spoil the flavor and only last of all tea. One of the historical reasons for putting milk first is the fact that it kept tea stains from sticking to the china service we were drinking in. Tea was so ingrained in the British home that English housewives would soak their husbands' socks in tea to dye them a uniform shade after they faded. Over the years, its popularity in the country has crossed classes, and hence it is commonly said that tea drinking in England is also shared with policemen and criminals. Other countries of the world have developed different customs on the subject. In Japan, the tea ceremony is part of the Buddhist variety and symbolizes the purification of the soul. The great Zen philosophers made tea a part of their lives and taught their students its importance. Its popularity led to the formation of an entire profession called the Tea Master and even a Japanese party game involving gambling in which participants blindly taste different types of tea and must guess which tea they are drinking and where it was grown. That's it! Thank you for watching the rest of this. If you like the video, don't forget to rate and subscribe.